like I said earlier in the, the the start of the podcast, I really do believe that this was probably the worst performance slash game that I've ever seen from the Carolina Panthers as a whole. What I watched on Sunday was pathetic, um, and it really was just um, – it really just summed up what this organization and this franchise has become at the end of the day. But yeah, I mean, I I really don't have much to say about this game. It's not really going to be much review, much of a review. I just really wanted to come on today um, back onto the set because we didn't last week. And I just thought that with only two or three episodes remaining this season that we should come in today. But I mean, y'all saw what I saw. Bullshit, 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 specifically offensively. I mean, I don't even know really how to, like, put it into words what I watched and what we all as fans sat through. And and, and to the ones that have stopped watching Carolina Panthers games as a whole, I, I respect you guys, and I wish that I was at that level in my admiration, or excuse me, in my maturation process, because I wish that I could stop watching, but... For some reason, I just simply can't. Um, so I respect y'all for not watching this shit. And it probably would have been a lot better for my mental health if I didn't watch. Because I had to watch that and then, you know, the 4.30 slot windows, I get fucking aired out and I get clipped in fantasy. So imagine how I was feeling on New Year's fucking Eve. But, you know, uh, it's essential that the Carolina Panthers get Bryce, Bryce Young a better offensive line next offseason as well as more weapons. If that doesn't happen, if that doesn't happen this offseason, this team will look even worse. And then on top of that, you have an owner that can't control his emotions. Now, don't get me wrong, because my my stance on this shit is a little bit different, and we'll dive more into it. But I kind of like that the nigga let his dick hang. Don't don't get in my face. Don't do all that fucking yelling, nigga. No, bitch. You'll get a drink, though. Fuck you. (laughs) Simple as that. But I know I, I you know, I know I'm I'm rare in that thinking. Because at the end of the day, he did set himself up to be in that position. The reason why the Carolina Panthers are as bad as they are is because of Dave Tepper, as well as Scott Fitter, who he still hasn't fired yet. But that's another conversation for another He's day. He's lame as fuck for that. I'll say that. Why? I mean, nigga, just because like like you said, you put this bullshit on the field. Like now all of a sudden it took one game before the end of the year for that to be your boiling point. Like, nigga, that shit should have been that when we started 0-6. Like, now you're frustrated? I mean, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. And if I was the fan, I'd sue the fuck out of that nigga. I'd sue the fuck out and, of him, too. And for me, it's one step closer to hopefully that nigga <clears throat> getting up out of here, which I know that's it's probably not, not going to be the case, but still. And then it also fucks up a lot of other things, too. Just in general. It just makes you look bad. It must have struck a nerve. What they say he was? Fitz power bottom or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. But I will say that. Truth hurts. That <coughs> that occurrence, I believe I saw that um, he could potentially be suspended. Now, I don't know what that means. I guess he won't be able to be in the stadium or whatever the fuck. I don't think he really cares. Um, but I, I saw today uh, via the athletic, I don't know who put the article out or who put the headline out, but they said that he was potentially looking at, um, substantial fines as well as, um, a suspension. Now, ultimately that's not what we want as a Carolina Panthers fan base. I wish he would have put his hands on somebody because then it would have been more likely that he would have been forced to sell the team. Yeah, that, that would have been even, but you know, I was listening to, um, a podcast, and they say typically, like when owners do stuff like that, they start going after draft capital. That could, that that would be absolutely the worst possible yeah. scenario. And, and that would that would dick us. You, <laughs> if you don't think we already <laughs> fucked now, that will put us in. If the they dirt. go get thirty three. We, I mean, we're fucked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, if they go take thirty three, we're dicked yeah. completely. So I mean. Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. But to have a dumbass owner to even put you in that situation is dumb as fuck. 